Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself believe to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you're going to enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 121. NASDAQ's up 35. S&P's down 3.5. Gold contract trading up $11.10 at 1759 an ounce. We got silver up eight cents, nineteen dollars six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up three dollars twenty three cents, ninety three dollars sixty two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note right now trading uh, down two ticks at a price point of one seventeen twenty one. The thirty year off twelve at one thirty seven seventeen. Ten year right now, folks, uh, three point zero four percent. So um, it's right in the middle for the last three months. You know, we had a low of two point five. Middle where we are now is 3.04, high is 3.4. King dollar. King dollar is a number out here. Once again, king dollar is down 448 ticks, 108,596. Euro is at 99 to 1 US dollar. Yen is out here at 135 to, 136 to 1 US dollar. And the British pound is at 118 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, as I said in this update, this is going to be a real tricky one. This is why. So you take a look at it, right? The, the, the first leg, you know, bottom line wants to fill this gap. So he filled the gap. The gap on the SPY, 412.75, okay? Bottom line, you're at 413.20. Um, that being said, bottom line is that you came down hard yesterday. 77 million shares. Now, we did get to a lower low today because we went to 411.77 and you have volume contracting. So you can, you can look at that and say, okay, man, you know, you're coming into some heavy um, support, you know, because we had traded there seven days across. That would be the bullish position. The bearish position would be, oh, man, he's setting up an ABC down. And when you do, the numbers are setting this ABC down, you come right to, which would be the 50% retracement of the whole move higher. And, you know, markets just love to go back to breakout areas. And that, this is where we really start breaking topside. That's on your S&P. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? Same type of setup. Inside the NDX, what do you have with the NDX? Actually, this is going to get interesting. This is where this close is going to come in. See, the, okay, so yesterday the Qs, Qs get down to 313.53. 51 million shares traded, right? We got to, to one second, 313.53, yes, so the low is yesterday. 313.33 is the low today. Now, that's showing that there's no more sellers there. That being said, you know, this is like, oh, man, that could be a nice little ABC structure down. So I'll give you my take right at the close because this is going to get that wild, folks, because I'm going to try to figure out which way I'm going to go here. <laughs> it's, it's that crazy. And this doesn't happen a lot. Let me tell you something. It just doesn't. You know, most of the time, doesn't mean I'm right. I'm, tell, I'm saying I have an opinion. And you just go with it when I'm trading. This one here is really a, a trippy one because it's like, okay, am I going to flip positions here? What am I going to do? And I'm going to do it before the close because it's like, you know, we know how this goes. You wake up in the morning one way or the other. You're up or down, you know, a couple hundred NDX points. So. And it's contingent on this U.S. dollar. And so the dollar is trying to claw its way back right now. Gold. Gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract right now? Bottom line, you are up 11 bucks. You get 137,000 contracts. It's not bad. It's not great. It's better than going down. That's the bottom line. You know, bottom line, we did 134,000 yesterday. Now that 134 was going into 193. You know, so we'll see whether they can get follow through. And the way this is, this is encouraging. This is actually encouraging. And that when I say encouraging, folks, I'm not talking about just for the whole gold market because when you look at the markets, so this is what's so cool. So 
uh, I've done the goal report now like 21 years or something. And I think it's 22 years actually. But anyway, what happens is that the way particularly these markets are moving right now because of the interest rate structure, to me, gold, dollar, interest rates, and I like, you know, NDX 100 or the S and the S&P. If you can kind of coordinate those and whatever your opinion is that they're going in harmony with each other, your probability of being right goes dramatically higher. That's, so that's kind of what you're hearing off me out here. Um, you know, and bonds, we go over the bonds, so check this out. We take a look at the bond market. What you have here is that the sign of strength, it was buy it this morning, but I believe what just happened is that it rejected that sign of strength. So the sign of strength is right here on the 10. That's 117.14. Yeah, see, so oh, this is sick. So it went exactly to 117.14, and you're at 117.21. Now, the same as situations there. It's like, okay, man, big deal. You know, you rejected it, but you don't have any gusto behind it, okay? So um, we'll, see, we'll see where it's going to shake out, man. Some of the higher volume equities, and it's going to be a low volume day out here today. Actually, let me go into the composite for a second. I want to look at this composite. Because what did happen is yesterday, we were talking about the volume, right? And the volume was lighter yesterday. Yeah, see, it's going to be lighter today, too. This is actually pretty good. Because you, you, got, you got below the low of yesterday. Low of yesterday was 5... Now, 353, we get to 352 today. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this low volume day, we got, come on, where are you? Whoops, there we go. You got Apple uh, up 17 cents, Zoom's down 15 bucks. Well, that's just amazing. Tesla's up uh, $23. You got uh, Pindo is up 265. Let's see. What else is moving out here? Microchip technology is up a buck and a half. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading now down 125. NASDAQ is up 34. S&P's uh, down three and a half. We'll come right back.